I'm from Atlanta and I love Atlanta. When I grew up, we're in the top 10 every year. We're playing in New Year's Day bowl games. We're competing for ACC championships. That's the Georgia Tech that I know and love, and we're restoring that every single day to get us back to that level. Chains up! Game. Chains up! Game. Let's lock it and get to work, all right? The guys that had great performances yesterday, Dante Smith giving three. Really good, Dante. TD giving three. In critical situations, people don't rise to the occasion, they fall to the level of their training. You are being trained at an elite level to be an elite program. Having known the, about this job and knowing what this place is about, um, when I interviewed for the job, I told them the two things that have to be fixed first are the culture and the brand. And so we've attacked that relentlessly every single day. Since Jeff Collins' arrival in Midtown Atlanta, change has come fast and furious for the Georgia Tech program. Collins has revamped the strength and nutrition programs, embraced data collection and applied science, and created a number of new staff positions, including a brand manager, tasked with making the team more visible and reflecting the culture of the ATL. Keep putting on for the city. Yeah. All the things that this great city affords, the fun, the excitement, the vibe that is this great city. Um, but when you look also, 11 of the last 13 national championships in college football have come from within five hours of right here on campus. These are your words, what you want people to see when they watch us play. Well, today we got the cameras here. They're gonna see how we work and it should be real. We either talking about it or are we actually doing it? Who are we? Wreckham drills coming, Cooksy. Wreckham drills coming, Tyler. Ready? Attack! 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 As much as Collins emphasizes fixing the culture and brand of the program, he must first balance the offense. For 11 years under Paul Johnson, Georgia Tech ran the triple option and led the ACC in rushing every season. But the Jackets were also in the bottom two in passing each year, a challenge that offensive coordinator Dave Patnode must address every day. Of all the coaching changes that occurred this offseason, you can make the argument that the single greatest challenge is going to be yours here at Georgia Tech. Well, don't put any pressure on us. Uh, offensively. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, you know, the, the biggest challenge is just trying to find where all the pieces fit together. So we inherited a roster that had 13 running backs on scholarship and had zero tight ends on scholarship. So we've just been really creative, um, you know, trying to figure out what our guys can do. We are not a scheme-based program. We are a players-based program. Regardless of what offense we're running, if it's not based on what players you have, then it's not going to be effective. It's a new time, it's, it's an explosive offense, it's a fun offense to play in. Um, if you're a skill guy, you're gonna be put in situations where you're able to make plays. Hey, triple flip, which way? Right, left, right. Right, left, right. Pretty good crowd for a practice. Everything that we do is for the city to make Atlanta uh, stand out. This place is a sleeping giant, is ready to be woken up. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.